Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Google Chrome is acting very slow on your computer. So the first thing I'd actually recommend doing would be to open up the Google Chrome web browser. And then you want to go up to the menu icon in the top right corner, left click on it. And then you want to left click on where it says more tools, and then left click on the extensions option on the left side. So if you have any extensions on here, I'd recommend that you consider if they are worthwhile or not. Some people might have extensions, they have no idea what they are. You're more than welcome to delete any extensions listed in here. There isn't any harm in deleting extensions. They could definitely be slowing down your web browser, and actually they are. It just really depends on what kind of extension it is, and they do vary in how much memory consumption they use. Just want to put that out there. But once you've addressed that, we're going to close out of here. And now we're going to head back to Star Menu and we're going to open up Command Prompt. So type in Command Prompt, best match should say Command Prompt, right click on it, run as administrator. If and when you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. There should not be any space in between the forward slash and the flush DNS. That's all one word here. And IP config, just IP C O N F I G. Once you have it as it exactly appears on my screen, you want to hit enter. Should say it successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Once you have done that successfully, you want to type in N E T S H space Winsock W I N S O C K space reset. So again, N-E-T-S-H space Winsock space reset. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Should say that it has successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. I'd recommend that you close out of any open programs or applications you have on your screen at this time. Restart your computer and hopefully your problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope I helped you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.